Hello everyone, my name is MGN of course, welcome back to a new video. This time I'm going to be showing you how you can make the dialogues for the NPCs work very quick. Okay, to turn, right click, properties, dash, I'm just going to minimize it, local files, both local files, open bundles, go to NPCs, go to dialogues, copy the chef, paste it, rename it to whatever you want, I'm going to name it MTN. Um, I already have a dialogue, so I'm just going to remove mine. Uh, rename it to whatever you want to name. I recommend having your NPCs uh, NPCs name. So I'm just going to rename all of these to to MTN. <clears throat> uh, and MTN. MTN. Here we go. Now I'm going to start with the welcome file asset. Here you have all of these. Just re change the ID to something. This is your main asset. Basically, this is your main dialogue. I'm going to put in 1337. Go to English DAT. Here you can have what your NPC says as soon as you talk to it. I'm just going to put it on. Hello there, stranger. I like to trade. And this basically responds is what you as a player choose to interact with NPC. I'd like to buy some coffee from you. Where, where, <clears throat> how do you get your coffee? And good, goodbye, my friend. There we go. Well, now we want to go to supply. Asset, uh, put the ID on 1338 so it doesn't collide with others, nothing else. English.dat edit with notepad. Here's basically what your NPC is going to respond with uh, when you talk to it. So we have a uh, wait, basically, I chose where, where do you, how do you get your coffee? So I'm going to put this as where did I get my coffee or where did the NPC get its coffee? I'm just going to put, and then this you seem nice is basically, I think it is basically if you go to goodbye, I'm just going to leave it as it is, but wait. If you like to buy some coffee there we go save that now we only have the vendor completed I'm not sure if we really have to change anything here but I'm gonna put it on 1339 save that English or DAT oh this is when you when you have bought something from the NPC so I'm just gonna put it as uh, uh, th thanks for shopping hope to see yeah, so something like that and save it. That's basically everything as the dialogues are. Now what do you want to do? You want to go to NPCs and go to characters and to your NPC. Open the asset. Let me see if it's the asset. You have the dialogue and basically this is the dialogue you want to have it on. I'm just going to put this on MTN welcome again of course. I don't really think you need to have this here. But I'm going to put it on 1337 which is the dialogue I have on my NPC very easy to change now open unturned also if I talk to him we press oh wait here is I like to buy coffee from you there we, there we go it actually worked so this is the vendor currently it's on the dough and maple syrup and it's like I'm buying all of these trash items I'm gonna make it so it sells coffee change the <laughs> change the store from Leonard fresh food markets to something like MTN's coffee shop We'll settle that in the future. I might do a video on it in case you want a... I'm probably gonna help you make the store. I might do it after this, actually, to be honest. Um, but how do you get your coffee? Some from farming... Like, this is basically how everything... Like, I gotta fix the vendor thing. So, should we do that? Yes, we should. So, we get the right vendor item. But anyways, if you press goodbye, my friend. It's just... You, you say goodbye, basically. So, what we're gonna try to do is change this, how do you get your coffee, and change this message to the one we put out, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. So now, we got the NPCs working, basically, but we have some fixes to fix, and we're gonna do it right now, and I'm gonna show y'all how you can do it as well. Open the folder again of your unturned, browse local files, bundles, NPCs, and here we are. Okay, so basically what you want to go ahead and do, go to Dialogues, MTN, and now we want to go to the main folder called Welcome. Open the Asset ID. Now we have the Chef Supply. What do we want to put here? This is the dialogue. This is the ID you want to change. So the Supply, it's 1338 for me. And then shells Sell to Chef, we have 1339. Let's save that and open Unturned and see, and see if everything works. Launching Unturned. 
now I'm gonna go play single player NPC world or NPC tutorial with <laughs> where this is my NPC talk I like to buy some coffee from you this is still we're not gonna try it but here you go I fixed it MTN I've used a good old-fashioned recipe that my grandma used and it's a family secret but feel free to taste the coffee so what we're gonna do next here is gonna change the store and the name of it if I can do that But I know that I can change the item itself Probably gonna be a bit harder, but I'm gonna try to solve that and show you all how you do so it Now we want to change what my store has MTN's coffee shop that is This is how you set up the store basically or the shop whatever you want to call it We want to go first of all to vendors and what did I we have there? What did we have? Because we copied the chef, so we'll copy the chef fresh food market. Let's copy it, paste it, and rename it to, for an example, for me, it will be MTN's Coffee Shop. There we go. That easy. Open it. And we want to right click the English.dat and open it with Notepad. Name MTN's Coffee Shop. This is description, which basically stands under it. The most delicious coffee something like that save it open the asset.dat here we have a lot of stuff what we can basically sell and buy what we're gonna be selling because unfortunately there is no coffee in unturned but we're gonna be selling canned beans selling one and we're gonna remove all of this besides one line gonna remove the dough we're gonna be selling coffee we want to name this to coffee I'm gonna rename it to MTN's coffee. ID is gonna be 13 and what it cost costs basically the experience. We're gonna put this on Let's just put it on five because I think that's a pretty reasonable number. Do we want to buy something? Wait, we want to change the ID of course so it doesn't collide with the other shop. We're gonna put it on uh, Let's put it on 13 36. There we go. Do we want to buy anything? We're probably gonna be buying. What could we buy here? Let's buy glue for an example. Let me search the ID for glue, which is basically 70. Buying one, and we're gonna put glue, delicious glue. <laughs> glue, there we go. And we wanna put ID on 70, buy cost 10. There we go. Save that, now we wanna remember the ID here. Now we want to remember the ID we have here. Okay, let's do that. Copy that. You can do it whatever you want. Go back to NPCs, characters, MDN, asset.dat, and uh, no, wait, is it, is it English? Yeah, uh, no, 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 it's none of these, I think. Oh, sh uh, go back to NPCs and dialogues, and here MTN, and you want to go to supply, English.dat, no. Now that you have changed the store, we want to go to dialogues again, MTN, the main folder called welcome or whatever you named it, and it's asset.dat, now we have supply origin, and basically what we want to be, you want to be putting on I'd like to trade, and we have ID here, dialogue, we want to put it on 1336, which is basically the one we set up there. Now save that and let's go to Unturned again. Play and single player NPC tutorial and play. Should be loading in pretty quick. Talk. I like to buy from you. It doesn't work now. Okay, so it didn't work there. So we're gonna try to set this up and fix it again. So let's go back to where we started, which was vendors, MTN's coffee shop. Let's put, I think it's in English, no, it's in asset.dat, we have the ID here, let's just name it glue, and name this coffee. So I removed the complete buying thing because I don't feel like I want to buy something, but I'm going to be selling one, you don't need the name there, selling one, the ID is still going to be 13. And the cost is gonna be five. So we're gonna sh I'm gonna try to change the ID to something else. Let's be to 50, 51, 2. 50, 51, 2. I'm gonna copy that just in case. So basically, when you have set up everything and this is what you're gonna sell. For me, it's gonna be selling one. And basically, this is canned beans. Because canned be there's no coffee in this game. But we could also add the buying one. 
and we're gonna be adding buying underscore zero underscore id 70 buying underscore zero underscore cost let's just put it on five as well and we want to not fifth and there we go copy it no save that remember this id though copy it english.dat this is still like what you want to have as a name you can have color add color codes i'm gonna do it real quick i'm gonna show you how you can make it look red and nice or just add a normal color code because i want to have my name like mtn's coffee shop i'm never gonna accept people on steam anymore like i am never gonna do that so i'm just saying because people don't respect my privacy and that i have stuff to do all those people typing to me and something like that i think yes slash color to end that bracket now that is we can find a hex color red hex color so in case i want red color this is which i really wanted is ff0000 you have four zeros here and you can of course have just f00 we have a look on this actually how red this looks actually this is very good so i'm just gonna leave it as that now my name here is in red save that remember the id don't remember it go to asset copy this id which you put in the vendor um go to dialogues mtn mtn welcome asset and you want to put it on response zero vendor what i did first that's why the video might be fucked up i don't think it's gonna be any errors in it for you because editing skills no i actually put this id instead of here if you actually change the dialogue to something else just leave it at 62 it doesn't matter just uh, make sure the dialogue is on 62 up here i have 5012 on the response as vendor save that start and turn now as you have start and turn go open your single player world with your npc talk to it press i like to buy some coffee from you mtn's coffee shop in red the most delicious coffee you've ever had and canned beans so in case i have uh, now i don't really have an experience so i'm gonna leave the shop experience 100 for an example you can see i don't have any canned beans or as i would say coffee open i like to buy some coffee from you and i can just press this as many times you can see it actually minimize like the experience will go down Let's quit that. Goodbye, my friend. Open the inventory. We have coffee here. Hopefully, Nelson takes his time and really adds coffee into the game, which would be amazing. Like, I would really love to have coffee in the game. I don't know if he would care about someone with 5k subscribers. Thank you all so much. We're about to hit that. So, in case you found this tutorial on how to fix vendors and the dialogue system was good for you, if you need more help with the NPCs, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm gonna start working when this video ends and is edited and going to upload. I'm probably already working working on making the quests work. Anyways guys, my name is MTN and don't forget to stay coffee.